Even though your test won't begin until you enter the arena, as you go around the outside, it's a great opportunity to create a good first impression for the judge. Make sure you head over to see, say good morning, good afternoon, and give them your name and your number. And then, as we'll be entering the arena in working trot and turning right at sea, I would recommend that you start on your right rein and that you put your horse into a working trot as you head around the outside of the arena to get them in a nice rhythm before you get to A and your test will begin. Remember to wait for the sound or the beep from the car horn to tell you that you can start your test. As you come round the corner for the final time at F, start preparing for your turn at A down the centre line. This is the first time the judge will see how straight you are, so it's important that you try and keep yourself as in line as possible. I find it helpful to smile as I trot down the centre line to help relax my nerves and also to show the judge that I'm having a good time. At the lower levels, the judges are really keen on you enjoying the sport, so make sure that you show that you are. If your horse has a little spook like Ted did just there, just keep riding through it, don't worry. As you prepare for your 20 metre circle at B, remember that your 20 metre circle shouldn't be going out to F, K, H and M. You should actually be coming round about a metre in from those markers and make sure that no stride on the circle is straight. It is a circle after all. As you hit E, it's a good idea to start planning for your transition to walk for one horse's length between B and F. Make sure that you don't take that transition too early. Your shoulders should be level with B before you make any kind of change. Now I got marked down here for a rush transition, so something to be aware of. Now we're going to start planning for our half 10 metre circles, E to X and X to B. This is the exercise I found most difficult on the entire test. Most riders, including me, are worried about going too deep with our circles and not doing an accurate 10 metre circle. But at this level, the BD judge recommended that because your judge is sat at C, they can only see how straight you are down the centre line. So it's better to have an extra two lines of straightness than it is to have a perfect circle and then wibble over that centre line. Again, the transition to walk for one horse's length comes up quick, so make sure that you're preparing for it as you go over X. As we come round past C, we're preparing again for our second 20 metre circle at E, doing a nice little half hole as we approach E so the horse knows that we're turning. Make sure we're looking around our circle the whole time and remembering that every single step should be on a curve. Remember that after this circle, your transition to walk doesn't come until K, so you have one extra letter. You're transitioning to walk between K and A and you're not picking up trot again because of course we have the change of rein with free walk on a long rein coming up. So make that transition to walk and then make sure that your horse is nice and relaxed that when you come round to F using the whole corner, you can do your free walk on a long rein with a nice relaxed horse. You should be stepping forward and you shouldn't have such long reins that they're sort of baggy. You should have a longer contact and ideally your horse should be stretching down whilst maintaining a nice ground cover. As you approach H, start thinking about picking up your reins to transition to medium walk. If you have a particularly hot or responsive horse like I do, make sure you don't pick up your reins too quickly because you don't want to encourage them to go into trot. At C, we're doing a 20 metre circle in walk, remembering that between X and C, we have a transition to trot. With a circle from C, you should be taking your circle all the way up to X in the centre of the school. So you can use B and E as gentle guides as to where you should be going, remembering to look all the way around your circle. Once you hit X, you can do a little half halt and ask for that transition to trot. And you're on the home straight. One more change of rein, M, X, K, and then it's down the centre line. So make sure you use the whole corner from C to M and give a little half halt to let your horse know that you'll be changing the rein. As you go across the centre, X, make sure you change your diagonal to the new rein. Again, as you approach K, make sure you use the whole of your corner to set yourself up for a nice turn down the centre line at A. Once you are going down the centre line, remember that we're transitioning to a medium walk at X and we're transitioning to halt at G, which is level with H and M. Once you've halted, give a salute. Once you look up and the judge nods back, you can walk on and your test is officially over. So give your horse a big pat and leave the arena on a long rein. I personally always leave the arena at A, but at this level, you're allowed to leave the arena anywhere where appropriate. I would avoid any other riders who are coming in or out. I hope that you found this video useful. If you want to see how Ted and I got on on the day of our dressage competition and the lead up to it, you can watch my dressage vlog, which is now live. See you next time.